The 2001 terrorist attacks on the United States sparked the dispatch of a small cadre of CIA officers and special forces troops to Afghanistan. There, they helped insurgents in the campaign to topple the Taliban government, which had sheltered al-Qaeda terrorists. The CIA has opened a new exhibit on that recent piece of history in its in-house museum. This is the first time it has been shown to outsiders. This particular map. CIA historian and museum curator Tony Hiley says it commemorates the cooperative effort between the CIA, special forces, and the Afghan Northern Alliance. It was that partnership, human intelligence at the core, wrapped in technology, 100 air sorties a day, that in just weeks overthrew the Taliban, killed or captured two-thirds of the al-Qaeda leadership, and denied a major terrorist organization its safe haven. The exhibit makes no mention of any touchy topics, such as the failure to capture or kill Osama bin Laden in the immediate post-9-11 days, or the resurgence of the Taliban and al-Qaeda in Pakistan's rugged tribal areas along the Afghan border. But the purpose of the secret museum is not to educate the public at large. Instead, it is to educate and motivate the thousands of operations officers, analysts, scientists, and technicians that make up the workforce of the Central Intelligence Agency. Hiley says every photograph of the new exhibit was taken by CIA officers on the ground in Afghanistan. Some are still operating undercover, so their faces are blurred. Even a sniffer dog, appropriately named Whisper, remains a secret agent. Hiley says the exhibit was designed to show how today's CIA officers operating in Afghanistan are much like their World War II predecessors of the OSS. Our officers told me that as they went into Afghanistan 15 days after 9-11, they felt just like their World War II predecessors, OSS, the Office of Strategic Services, Jedburgs, paramilitary operations officers. So that gave us the idea to position the exhibit with a comparison between our World War II predecessor and our officers in Afghanistan to say that the more it changes, the more it stays the same. It's still about that intelligence officer on the ground collecting real-time intelligence to shape the battlefield. So OSS equipment and CIA equipment are displayed side by side. An AK-47 assault rifle used by a CIA officer in Afghanistan is hung up next to a World War II Thompson machine gun. And this particular submachine gun has an interesting bit of history that was discovered when it turned up in the former Yugoslavia. This weapon had been issued to the OSS in 1943. OSSers had carried it into Yugoslavia in 44 to help arm Tito's partisans. It stayed in country for 60 years, well used in the intervening time until along came one of our officers had recognized it as an historical weapon. As the CIA's covert operators learned in the rough and wild terrain of Afghanistan, weapons and equipment may evolve, but some of the skills of the intelligence world are timeless. Gary Thomas, VOA News, Washington.